everybody. Welcome back. So we have a lot to talk about today, okay? First things first, people are noticing who's unfollowing who, and people notice that Ariana Grande has unfollowed Doja Cat on Instagram, all right? Now, I don't really... I don't really think that this means anything. I really don't. I think celebrities follow people and then unfollow people. One minute they probably want to follow a certain number of people and the next minute they probably don't. I don't know. I don't think that this means anything. So we're going to keep it moving. I also wanted to talk about 50 Cent's son, okay? So 50 Cent has a son that looks just like him and they have a very terrible relationship. I don't think they have much of a relationship at all, honestly. And that's really sad to see. But his son was talking online to two people and he was talking about how his father 50 cent the child support that 50 cent gives him and his mother of 6700 dollars a month isn't enough money let me play you the clip your child bro your child don't Yo, know what it, what it feels Yo, like Keith. to to sleep in a, a 13 bedroom house does he Nigga. hold on wait your child Nigga. never lived that type your of lifestyle bro. Come so no could you, could you afford that. right what now I'm saying to, is, to pay your bills you. pay a chick 6700 dollars a month yeah me no that's why i don't have kids okay you are well, by saying six and that's, that's a lot you of money. Said, yes you cannot it's say not, that that's not a lot of money people, to some people but where we come from your mother could survive off of that so if to today's me, 6700 no is it not yesterday's 6700 she would have got a lot more for 6700 okay and it's still then. not a lot of money today, bro. Not talking about that that's not that's not in my eye it's not a lot of money i've seen a lot of money I'm not, that's not a lot of money that is enough money for a three-bedroom house and paid all the utilities a fucking car and i'm i'm really glad that these two guys are telling him that you can live off of 6700 a month that's a three-bedroom house paying for your utilities and food and stuff you can live off of 6700 dollars a month i mean i don't know if y'all saw eddie murphy has to pay uh his ex-wife thirty five thousand dollars a month i i really think that the child support whole situation is really a money grab and a lot of of hollywood and these celebrities it's it's a money grab because these celebrities have to pay an enormous amount of money that is astronomical that you don't need all that money to raise a child you really don't these people just want to live that same lavish lifestyle that they had when they were with that celebrity so the fact that 50 cent pays 6700 dollars a month and he has one child with that lady yes Yes, and mind you, his child is grown as hell. You can, you should be working and doing your own thing, living your life now. You know what I'm saying? So I really just feel like he comes off as very unappreciative. You know, maybe he's just thinking about all the how much money these other women are getting from these celebrities and how much money his dad is making. So I don't know. That's the issue they got to work out between themselves. But, you know, a lot of us regular people would take that $6,700 a month and make that work, okay? Now let's move on. So the NBA guys are fighting, okay? Now y'all know I don't really talk a lot about sports on here, but if you are subscribed and you've been following me, you know that I do watch basketball and I do watch football. And, okay, my team, okay, my team is going through some issues. All right, so Draymond Green ended up punching his teammate Jordan Poole during practice all right these two they just won <laughs> they just won a championship together okay they just won a chip why are you fighting during practice what is going on okay so it also came out from an ex nba player brandon jennings that tristan thompson slapped draymond green in front of lebron and drake now here's what i'm gonna say about this i like draymond green okay i do and i like jordan Poole. You know, Draymond Green is, he has a temper and he be bugging. Okay. He gets kicked out of games sometimes. He be going off on the rest. He, he has a temper and he gets angry. And I don't know how much <laughs> Steph Curry and the rest of the team is going to keep putting up with this, but he, Draymond, they, I mean, he definitely adds to the team. I mean, he's a starter. So I don't know. They need to figure this out and it needs to get off of social media and they, they need to come on because I don't have time for this when, you know, finals come around. I don't have time. Now, I wanted to talk about Ray J for a moment because Ray J is going through it, okay? He recently did multiple interviews about the Kardashians and the sex tape that was released by them years ago, and he called Kris Jenner out for lying all these years and basically saying that she chose which sex tape that they were going to put out. You know, he said that they had um, shot one sex tape and then they did another one and the mom picked which one she 
thought would be a better fit for Kim, allegedly, okay? So he was basically saying she was with all of it. And he was upset that, you know, Chris Jenner basically went and did a lie detector test. It was on a TV show. And she denied having anything to do with the tape and it showed that she wasn't lying. And Ray J was saying, you know, that guy's not even a proper um, lie detector test guy. Like, you know, this is all a, this is all fraud. And this led Ray J to expose Kim. He went live and he showed a lot of text messages, you know, of them talking about the tape and stuff like that. And he basically wanted to show the world that Kim is using all this for a storyline and narrative because they were talking about a, the second sex tape on the Kardashians on Hulu and, and all of this stuff. Okay, he was going in and he was tired of playing along like they wanted Ray J to go with the narrative and he was tired of it. So he recently put up a post saying that he would jump off and, you know, pass away that night. And his sister Brandy actually took to social media and said, need you, bro. So it's just a lot going on with Ray J. I think all of it is just too much. I think he's just probably regretting his decision. He did say that. That sex tape is it still affecting him to this day with business relationships and opportunities and like st his staff and stuff like that. Some people still don't want to work with him to this day because of that. But you know, you signed the dotted line, okay? He did say that Kim was trying to rush him to sign that contract for to release that tape. You know, and they made they made a lot of money off of it. But it's like you agreed to do that. He was young, but there's no excuse. He was still an adult. You agreed to do that. And unfortunately, you know, you, you're older now. You have a family. You have kids. And there's certain things that you would want to take back. Like, a lot of us go through that. But you made this decision, so you got to live with it. It's just crazy. So he also shared some advice that he would give to his younger self in a recent interview. So let me play you that. What advice would you give to your younger self? <sighs> you don't got to be cool, Ray. Sing. Do your talent. Like... Gangsters and, and dudes and that you think is cool, they want to see you elevate. So if you do Broadway, you tap, you sing, you dance, just be great. They're going to they gonna ride with you. You don't got to be cool. And why would you say that? Because I wanted to be cool. So I got in trouble for no reason. I didn't listen for no reason. And I ended up here, which is good, but that's risky. I wish I would have, like, sang more. I knew how to tap. I knew how to do all that. All I was doing was tapping ass. And I could have been tap dancing. So instead of tapping ass all day, tap ass a little bit. But if you know how to tap dance, do that majority of the time. And last but not least, what advice would you give to others and young people as well? You gotta care. You gotta care about everything you do, but you gotta not give a f at the same time. So it looks like Ray J is going through that phase where you get older and you're like, yo, I wish I would have did this differently. I wish I would have went down this path instead of that one. And he's reflecting on life, but he can't let it get him to the point of depression and, you know, like these suicidal kind of thoughts. Like he, he can't let it go that far he just has to stay strong and move forward so i definitely don't want rachel to do anything silly let's move on to coila ray so coila ray speaks on why she's not getting a bbl okay she did an interview and she gives some advice to girls that are getting them and she says that they need to get in the gym and maintain their surgeries let me play you what she said like i'm not against getting your body done just get just be healthy with it there's a lot of people um you know i i, I like to work out and i feel like if you do get your body done you got to just make sure you get in the gym and work out and maintain because i have a lot of friends and um you know they'll be like I'm, i ain't going to the gym i'll go get a second one and i'm like girl just get up and go to the gym go, like go right. you got to get up and go the to the second. gym it's maintain it. like they'll just go get their body done again damn then a yeah. third one then a fourth one then a fifth one and there's then. nothing but it's, if it look good just go to the gym and maintain that shit there's nothing right. wrong with that like girl right. get in the gym cause I, I I be looking at a lot of BBLs and I be like girl mm, you look great right. like not gonna lie you look alright you know <laughs> right. the, the butt looks amazing like you right. you know you can't go wrong with it and if, if I had the you know the guts and balls to do that shit I probably would I just don't you know, I don't. So let me let me just add, Coyle Ray looks gorgeous in this interview, okay? Uh, she needs to wear her hair like this more often. She looks so pretty. And I really understand what she's talking about with the BBL thing. You know, people getting the second and third one. And people should maintain it. But, you know, at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, if you're not getting the BBLs, or whatever you're not impacted by it just keep it moving and let people do what they want to do with their bodies fans speculate that beyonce and jay-z are not really together and that they are together for a business relationship only okay this has been floating around on tiktok for a little bit and i've seen it again and i'm like you know what 
Let me let me talk about this because a TikToker went back to September 8th, 2021 on Beyonce's Instagram and saw a picture of Beyonce and Jay standing so far apart. People are saying it looks like they're disconnected and people are just thinking that she is just staying in this marriage because, you know, it benefits both of them financially from a business standpoint. They have things together, things separate. It just makes more sense. So what do you guys think about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship? Now, we're moving on to Cardi B. So people are upset at Cardi B getting announced as having the verse of the month by Genius, okay? So people were in the comments saying, when did y'all start doing verse of the month? And yes, Cardi's talent won. So they're basically saying, you know, Cardi writes for her. He actually won verse of the month, not Cardi B. So people were really upset at this. People were claiming she paid for them to say that. All that stuff for her uh, verse on uh, Tomorrow too, I believe. So people are also coming up with theories of why Sweetie was taken off of Glorilla's FNF remix, okay? They think that Sweetie was removed from that song because they're alleging that Sweetie slept with Offset and Cardi B wanted to blackball Sweetie and she wouldn't collab with Glorilla unless Sweetie's verse was scrapped. So what do you guys think about that theory? I mean, we still don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? We have no real proof of this. We really don't. And speaking of the Sweetie rumor, fans are pointing out that Little Baby already addressed this situation in a song that came out a little while ago. So listen to this clip. I so in this clip, he's talking about, you know, him and the dude, he knows sleeping with the same girl. So very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. But you know what else would be interesting if none of this was true and this was all for clout? All right. Lastly, I wanted to talk about people being upset at Young Miami and Saucy Santana. All right. And I kind of talked about this a little bit. I didn't go into much at all. You know, but I was low-key disappointed. So let me tell you what they're talking about. They're claiming that JT has no one in the industry that has her back after Cardi B and JT went back and forth on social media. And they basically claimed that, you know, Young Miami and Saucy Santana were quiet. But they pointed out that Saucy Santana had Lotto's back in the whole Kodak Black situation for the BET Hip Hop Award, uh, the song of the year. Because, you know, he went to social media and was upset that Lotto won that song of the year that we talked about. And, you know, Saucy Santana was defending Lotto, but they were crickets when Cardi B and JT were going back and forth. Let me play you the clip. JT and Saucy Santana and Young Miami and how the people were saying how, you know... It's funny how Saucy Santana came to Lotto's defense when it came to Kodak Black coming for her for winning the Best Song of the Year awards. But it was crickets when Cardi B and JT was going back and forth on Twitter. So the fans peeped all of this and was calling it out and we're going to dig deeper into it. So I guess Saucy Santana came for Kodak Black when he was coming for Lotto for winning and this is the um remarks from the fans pause to read not only that allegedly Uzi Vert is cheating on JT with Cardi B's best friend Star Brim we don't know if this is facts but Uzi Vert do like cute chocolate girls who have been to jail so it wouldn't be that unrealistic what does this have to do with anything we gonna get into it Y'all remember Cardi B's verse on Tomorrow 2 when she was saying, when she was saying fake B, that's why my friend f on your ninja. Star Brim is Cardi B's best friend. I have both you B's pussy. <laughs> How about y'all scissor? So it sounds like Cardi B was throwing shots at JT before they even went into it on Twitter. So Cardi B been feeling some kind of way that JT got cool with Nicki Minaj. Then Saucy Santana sings the song, just that one line in Cardi B's verse and tags JT and then deletes it. And I say all this to say, you see in this Carisha Please interview, JT was crying, Carisha was emotionless, and Santana was talking about JT because you my friend, you my friend. Well, you're not really acting like a friend. And I've been told y'all I don't like Saucy Santana because I don't like his energy and it has nothing to do with him being gay. 
Moral to the story, expecting to have a bunch of loyal friends in the music industry is like a drug dealer expecting to have a bunch of friends when he live in the street life. So when we covered this, I was, I told you, I was waiting for JT and all we got was a LOL. I just woke up cricket. So I didn't like nobody said anything. Nobody was willing to go back and forth and hop in. Okay. Nobody from from uh, young miami or saucy santana which i was very shocked and even in that carisha please interview i did think it was weird that she, when jt was getting emotional it was just no compassion it was you know all of a sudden young miami's this cold girl with no emotion and da, 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 da. but she's she's young miami shows so much emotion to other people that go on the show i just it's just so interesting but i don't know what was said behind the scenes JT could have been like, Carisha, don't say nothing. I got it. Or, you know, she could have talked to them behind the scenes, which I'm sure many people do in real life. If something's going on on social media, you're going to go ahead and call your sister and call your friends and tell them what the hell is going on. But, you know, it just makes it look like JT is out there by herself. I mean, you even had Nicki Minaj coming in and subbing. Even Nicki was coming in and they didn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing. But you can say something for Lotto. Make it make sense, okay? So what do you guys think about that? That is all I have for today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.